Good morning everyone. Thank you for tuning in for another episode of a fun Good Morning Sunday with the Stephen and Kathleen show. Good morning. Good morning. You know what um, someone said to us? What? Was it yesterday? I think they were saying to us that if we combined our surnames, we'll either be... This is hilarious, by the way. Really funny. We'll either be loyal or duck. See, really funny. I think it's hilarious. Hilarious. Well, which would you be, loyal or duck? Wait, we're lucky actually that your surname doesn't start with F because that would get really awkward. <laughs> oh, hilarious. I'm stuck on the table. <laughs> so anyway, let's go on to the question. Okay, you know. to, to the question. Question from Ali. Kathleen, what would be your top five things buyers look for that you can improve when offering your property for sale? Um, so my top five things, top five things. Um, so certainly um, the first thing I would look uh, and suggest to sellers to do uh, is declutter. Um, yes. When there is more furniture and there's more items filling a home, it can feel uh, a lot smaller than what it actually is. So decluttering is the first one. We're about to get rained on. <laughs> Boom. Boom, that's how the cameraman fixes that. Thanks, Jason. Um, the second one that we would do um, I would suggest is have a good walk around the house, see if there's any painting that needs to be touched up yeah. um, uh, inside and outside. Look for any um, anything that's peeling, any mould, um, get rid of things like that. So anything that's quite superficial. We're dealing with all the elements today, aren't we? It's crazy. This tree is quite drunk. Go away, wind. Um, so painting uh, the third one. The third one would be... It's all right. No, you stay there. I'll hold on to I'm, I'm thinking. Ah, pretty much what I was going to say is, while you're thinking, <laughs> is, and this is the bloke in me speaking, whenever we put off jobs, we get that next Sunday, we get that next month or so forth. Pretty much if you've been putting off a few little jobs like that, it's really good to get them done. So then it makes it makes it more neutral, very easy flow through the houses. If that, so if that makes sense. So what kind of jobs, Stephen, would one put off at a house? Like say fixing doorknobs or planting trees that have been sitting in the backyard that haven't been put in the ground for six months. And I didn't what, want the trees. What else is it that that she you haven't been doing? <laughs> Shall we move in? Pretty much. Also, just. Clean up the gardens as such, palm leaves, yeah. stuff like that. Gardens are a big one. Pick um, up the dog crap, big one. And landscaping. I always think about um, what, it, what, it, what is the first 30 seconds that a buyer is going to, yeah. to make an impression on your home when they walk up that driveway or walk into the house. So look at things like that as well. And pretty much try and keep colours neutral. Don't have them um, 17 different colours in a room. Yeah, but some people might like that. But I don't. Yeah, but it's not about you, Stephen. Okay. Anyway, I hope that answers some of your questions, Ali. Sorry, we are being awfully rained on at the moment. So you can tell that this is certainly uh, See you later. ad hoc. So thank you for watching us, guys. Bye. We're, we're going to go get undercover. We'll see you later. Bye. Bye-bye.